There really are no words uh, that I have for our next guest, except to say that she's not just a guest, she's a woman um, who is showing up for a friend, me. Uh, we've actually known each other since we were, oh my gosh, 14. Um, we've been um, pregnant together and at weddings, and uh, she's someone that I deeply, deeply, deeply respect. And so do you. She has a book club. She's created job opportunities uh, in the Hollywood industry that are unprecedented. She has a production company, Hello Sunshine. Uh, she's someone who's a true maven and a pioneer. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Reese Witherspoon. Hi, Hi friends. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for christening the show. I am so excited, Drew. When I heard you were doing a show, I was said, this is the perfect person because whenever you are on a TV show, I literally stop whatever I'm doing just to watch you because you bring me so much joy. You are someone that I feel like is very emblematic of what I would like to try to do with this show. You're interested in so many different things. And a show like this is an opportunity for me to take all of those interests and put them in a piggy bank and break it on the floor every day. <laughs> That's such a good metaphor. I love that. Well, I, I've not, well we've known each other for so long. Right? How I old were we, Reese? Were we... I thought we were 13, and then I realized you had done Man on the Moon, so you must have been 14. I was 14 years old. I was completely obsessed with you. You had no idea, but I was like your super fan. I had read your book. I had pictures of you on my wall. You were like my childhood acting idol, and you came up to me at a restaurant, and you said, I saw you in a movie, and you were so wonderful. And, you know, it changed my whole perspective on... Like that was, you were one of the first people who ever supported me and showed me it doesn't have to be competitive, that creativity is infinite. And if we can collaborate as women together, we can accomplish so much more. I marvel at the opportunities that you give to women. And I think there's sometimes a fear in general that if you lift someone else up, you like will either go down or not be seen. And I think, and you obviously are the symbol of this, that when you lift someone else up, you go up with them and there's enough light and creativity and room for everyone. But you not only lift people up and shine a light on them, but you give them opportunities that are very rare. And I am so impressed with what you are doing. It's just incredible. Well, thank you for saying that. Um, I have gotten so much inspiration from so many women who are doing work like this, including, you know, Ava DuVernay and Lena Waithe and, and yourself. When you created Flower Films, that gave me courage to say, hey, I could have a company too. And I'll never forget when you called me on the phone and I said, Drew, I love that you're creating female superheroes because I have a little girl in the car and my daughter was young then. And I said, you don't understand. There's no female superheroes. That was something that was so important to you, but it gave me courage to start my company and say, you know, when we see systems that are broken, right? And whether that, whatever system you work in, it, it could be your school district, it could be your, your, um, your community, your city, government. We looked at our Hollywood system and said, you know, not good enough. There's not enough projects for women, there's not enough female directors, there's not enough uh, people of color writing and getting sh show running opportunities. And I think that feeling that you can take control of, of your life and that everyone has the ability to um, tell their own story. I think we're going through, uh, obviously, some really difficult times, but I'm such an optimist. I'm always like, there's such rebirth and regrowth that comes out of that kind of pain and struggle. When I called you that day, it, it scared me. It intimidated me. You had these two young kids in the back and I thought, God, I'm so far away from that. Like I'm, 
I, I, I would be so scared if somebody put two young kids in the back of my car and said, just go and take them and feed them. You know, it cut to like years later, the full circle story of irony is we were both pregnant together at my wedding with like yeah. bumping ba bellies, the only two sober chicks there. And um, <laughs> I was so amazed by you being this young mother who was able to take all that on. And, and did you... How did you balance work and motherhood at that point? Because I was just trying to balance work. And how did right. you do both? Yeah, well, to, to be completely candid, I was terrified too. I got pregnant when I was 22 years old. Um, and I didn't know how to balance uh, work and motherhood. And we just, you just do it, you know? I, I didn't know if I was going to have steady work too. I wasn't a popular, like I made movies, but I hadn't you know, established myself as someone who could demand that it shoot close to my kid's school or, you know, I didn't have any real um, power or leverage within my industry. So I think I'm just, I was just like every other mom trying to figure it out and dad out there and partner and grandparent who's raising a child. There's a lot of, first of all, compromise. You take the food out of your mouth, the clothes off your back, the sleep out of your life. But Every bit of it, every bit of that sacrifice is truly worth it because you feel like that's what makes me wake up on a Sunday is it's not movies or my job. It's my kids.